Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the FS Football Channel. And we've got breaking, breaking news that Jose Mourinho has been sacked as Tottenham Hotspur manager. Now, this comes, of course, after the huge announcement yesterday of the European Super League. Now, the reports are that Jose Mourinho has refused to train Tottenham this morning, and that has led to Jose Mourinho receiving his P45. Now, this announcement, of course, comes six days before they are due to play in the League Cup or Carabao Cup final against Manchester City. That's on Sunday, so six days beforehand. Which this leads me to believe, look, the rumours about Mourinho getting sacked because he's refusing to play the players is probably true. Mourinho is known for winning trophies. When you get to a final with Mourinho, chances are you're going to win it. Tottenham need to win trophies. So... You surely, this is a match made in heaven, this final. This is an opportunity to go and win something. And now they've sacked him six days beforehand. There must be something. There is no way Daniel Levy sacked Jose Mourinho just because of the poor results. Why would it not come yesterday? Why did it not come two days ago? Unless this is what Tottenham had planned. Unless this was the smokescreen for their European Super League announcement. They knew this would cause so much backlash. And it has, and rightly so. So they thought, you're right. Day after, boom, sack Mourinho. Gets, gets the limelight off of us for a little bit. And on to Mourinho. I think it's absolutely ludicrous. And look, I, I'm, I, I went live yesterday and I spoke for hours about the, the Super League. We got, got your, your guys' opinions and thoughts on it, which was fantastic. And this Super League is already starting to break the the, the English game, isn't it? It's, look, it's everyone's divided. No one likes it. And look, the competitions like this could be gone. We don't actually know what's going to happen with the League Cup anymore. Will it, will these clubs be able to compete in it? Who knows? It's all up in the air and Tottenham have lost their manager because of it. Now, Tottenham have confirmed that Ryan Mason will step in for Jose Mourinho until the end of the season. And then, obviously, they'll look at a new manager. At the moment, Julian Nagelsmann is the favourite to replace Jose Mourinho at um, Spurs. But, look, will will, ya, will Julian Nagelsmann want to be part of Tottenham, especially if they're in a Super League? This is the thing. People that love football are against this idea of a Super League. With Spurs going into it, they're going to be like, what, one of the first teams looking for a new manager while in the Super League. It could be very, very difficult. Just quickly on the career of Jose Mourinho at Spurs. He's managed Spurs for 86 games, winning 45 of them, drawing 17 and losing 24. Simply isn't good enough for the standards Jose Mourinho holds up for himself. And I think his demise has really been that defence, that that def- that that's a part of a Mourinho team that has to be solid, has to be reliable, and his Spurs defense, like it was for Manchester United, has been anything but. And I think that has really cost Jose Mourinho his job, and it'd be interesting to see where Jose Mourinho goes from this. Does he get another job in Europe? Does he does he go to the Super League? What will happen? Anyway, that is going to be it, as that's all the information we really know on it. Of course, as more information comes out about this and the the European Super League, we will be covering it here on this channel. Anyway, like I said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one in a bit. Peace.